I mean, I think as simply as possible, it's we're a regional brewery. Um, we only serve beer in five states, and Delaware is a big part of that. And you know, being the first capital of the first state in the United States, you know, we're history guys. Um, we do have three historic recipes in our portfolio, the Thomas Jefferson, the George Washington, and the Ben Franklin. And um, it's just a perfect place for us to be able to sort of get out of what we're used to. You know, um, we know Philadelphia, we know the Philadelphia beer market very well. Uh, going, you know, 100 miles down the road a little bit and, and getting that name out there means a lot, actually. And, um, you know, as it is an important part of our market, Delaware is, is uh, is a state that we're gonna we're gonna concentrate on a little bit more. I mean, you know, Wilmington's very close to Philadelphia, so we do well there. The further south we go, sort of the less our name means, and we would like to change that. We would like everybody in the state of Delaware to know who we are. And, and obviously, when a festival like this comes up, it's it's a no-brainer, you know, for us to be a part of it. We in Philadelphia have the City Tavern, which is among the oldest restaurants in the United States. Um, their chef, Chef Stabe, um, did a little research and, and found some recipes that we can attribute to Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, and Ben Franklin, all respectively. He called our owner, Tom, and, and, and said, you know, we'd, we'd like you to make them for the restaurant. We'll put them on draft. We'll have them in our beer flight kind of thing. They're tailor-made for food that they serve, which is very heavy hearth cooked meals. Um, so we have Thomas Jefferson's, which is a, a honey-based tavern ale. Uh, it's 8% alcohol, but believe me when I say it doesn't taste anything like 8%, making it a little bit dangerous. Uh, Thomas, uh, ben, excuse me, Ben Franklin is a spruce ale, which happens to be our most awarded beer. Uh, it's taken a medal at the Great American Beer Fest two years in a row now. Uh, it is a spruce-based ale. Uh, we're using the sprigs of spruce trees in lieu of hops, giving it a very piney quality, almost resiny. And the George Washington is a rather traditional molasses-based porter. So very dark, very rich. Uh, these three beers are really a taste of history. I mean, they're, they're beers that don't get made very often anymore, stylistically. And it's, it's really nice to be able to have something that you know, I can drink a beer that Ben Franklin may have himself drunk at one point. Um, that's pretty neat when you live in Philadelphia to be able to somehow connect what I have in my refrigerator to these men that have done more things than I could ever hope to do. Uh, it's, 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 they're pretty cool.